So one of the big things that we're looking, that we're discussing, that has been in a, much of a discussion all day, really, is uh, trust. So you know, how can AI help build trust in journalism? Both trust from from a reader to a journalist standpoint, and even vice versa. What else does a local journalist connect to? Yeah. Government yeah. officials. Yes, yes. So like, okay, yeah, maybe. The yeah. Local. So that's like its own little network. Okay. Trust is rooted in community, right? So when I think about the best way to get trust back is how do we actually reconnect with the community that we're supposed to serve? They connect their sources. Well, if they're trained in, <coughs> but if they're trained in engineering, they might they're connect not to research tools. They probably need. You know, with the erosion of the business model, we see that a lot of, you know, newsroom in America are sort of resource lacking. Uh, not all of them, but yes. Awesome. So maybe the re so these are the research tools here. Maybe testing. Right? Yep. Sources. Yeah. They could also unfortunately not do <laughs> um, Yeah. So media literacy and understanding it's a signal to noise kind of problem where what do you know? What is good versus what is just noise? I often spend a lot of time and I call it like mindful leadership practices. Just being willing to take a step back to think about the sources that I'm getting my information from. I actually think the biggest threat is not just disinformation and misinformation, I think it's also confusion. I mean, the, the notion that, oh, uh, it's all so confusing, I don't know what to believe, I don't know what to trust, I'm going to opt out of the election, or I'm going to opt out of news, or opt out of understanding, or even seeking the truth. As a journalist, that's like really frightening. If something is going to produce like a sports team, if, if local communities want sports coverage, but the local news organization doesn't maybe have enough reporters, to report on that, like, do they need data? And then where does the data come from? And does it come from a commissioner? And then, like, then does that need to be cleaned? Some of the bigger tech players have broken trust in certain ways, um, and we need to establish that trust between tech and local news. Uh, and there's also a, a trust and literacy gap from technology people communicating to news organizations like myself. I have trouble sometimes communicating to local news organizations. So I'm glad that Right now, a lot of conversation is really about how technology could enable that rather than how technology is destroying trust, right? Because the technology itself doesn't really destroy or create. It really is depend on the creator. How do we take ownership of AI so that we could harness it for good?